Hey everyone, it's Keely here and today I'm sharing a layout and process video for Scrap Squad. I'm going to be using Scrap Lift 18 as inspiration for my layout today. Um, now, I absolutely love the design on this page. Um, mixed media though is not my strong point. So I decided to cheat a little bit and I've um, just splattered lots of my gold mist, uh, which is the Jen Hadfield um gold mist uh, is it called gold mist uh gold glitter it's called um and i've splattered lots of it on the background now most of this will get covered up so i do bring in some more shortly um i pulled out again the um daydream collection by coco vanilla studio um and i'm going to be scrapbooking a photo of my daughter darcy which was taken a couple of years ago um, and she's outside in the sunshine blowing bubbles. Um, I've made a tag um, out of some pattern paper in this collection, this gorgeous navy. Um, and I feel like it really matches the clothes that she's wearing. She's got a pinky, pink and white striped t-shirt and it's got navy writing on and she's got little navy leggings on. So I think the leggings and they might be jeggings, I'm not sure. Um, but the colour... Um, the colours that I kind of pick out match what she's wearing in the photograph. Um, I fussy cut some florals from the pattern paper. I think these were like edge pieces of the pattern paper, but um, I don't waste them because if you've got like some florals along the edge of the pattern paper and you want to fussy cut them out, you can tuck them in um, and they'd give the illusion that it was a full floral piece. Um, now this layout does come together really quickly. Um, I don't really have much decision making to do um, and because it's quite I'd say it's quite minimal because everything's in the centre of the page there's only so much you can kind of fit in um, so I have got um, a couple of embellishments um, most of them are fussy cut from pattern paper which is one of my favourite things to do um, it really does help um, have you know help your supplies stretch um, help a collection stretch um, and I feel like you get a lot more for your money um, I'm going to add this rainbow in which again is kind of in the matching colours and I really like how that looks um, I do pull in um, a die cut which is a blue flower and I think this one might have had a leaf on it as well and I kind of fussy cut that off I thought I could use that on something else um, and I have pulled out um, a bramble fox um, cloud from my stash um, on the original there was some clouds um, although they was above the photograph um, but I thought this one worked really well near the rainbow um what else am I, gonna... I have fussy cut out the word beautiful and it was um like a banner piece on one of the cutter parts um but i thought I've, i'd fussy cut that out and use it as part of a title um the the banner itself is quite big for um one of my pages i feel like they're quite big the cutter part banners so by fussy cutting out the word it obviously made it slightly smaller but perfect size for a title um, so I'm going to stick that down um, under my photograph. Um, I have stuck down my cloud um, by Bramble Fox. Um, now these are quite clear that you can see through them. Uh, but the glue that I use um, dries clear. So once the glue has dried, um, you can't see any glue behind it at all. Um, I'm adding in a couple more little bits and bobs that I've fussy cut. Um, and now I'm going to come and finish my title. I didn't want my title to just read beautiful. Um, so I've pulled out some uh, thickers from my stash. And I've got so many packs of these. I think every time I have um, a little spend on hobby craft, um, I add a couple more packs because they're the perfect alpha. Like they're the perfect size, I think. I feel for my pages and I think if I was to do a full 12 by 12 page then these would be perfect size for um you know adding to your title like you know the words that and those little words that you don't really want to use big alphas for um so I've gone for the navy blue in these which works obviously really well with this page um and my title's going to read beautiful bubbles um because like i said she's blowing some bubbles in the photo darcy loves blowing bubbles it's one of her favorite things to do and it has been since she was so tiny um 
and on this particular day, I think there was a slight breeze. So when she held up the wand for her bubbles, um, the breeze would blow through. So the bubble would like kind of go off and um, go really long and big. And she was amazed by it. Um, so now I'm going to cover up my photo because I don't want to get any gold mist on there. And I go absolutely crazy with my gold mist on the background. And I really do think it kind of gives the look of lots of bubbles in the background. Um, so it worked really well with the story um, of this photograph. Um, you know, obviously I could have gone and got some stencils and ink and things and done things like that, but I'm just not so confident to do it yet. Where splatters for me are kind of as far as I go with my mixed media. Um, but I am trying to experiment a little bit more, although I did cheat a little bit on this one. Um, so anyway, here are my close-ups. Um, please do check out the Scrap Squad Facebook group. We have a new scrap lift every week um, and you'll be able to see lots of inspiration from the team as well as our group members. Thank you for watching. Bye.